Hello and welcome to Mom Design. My name is Maria and today is going to be a special video. Nothing like I've ever made before. Let's get into it. So as we are so close to Halloween, I decided to make a little bit of a history video. Today we're going to be looking at the 10 deadliest fashion trends of history. Let's get into it. Number one. Foot binding. So China, around the 10th, 11th century, it was popular among the nobles to bind their foot to be the smallest possible size. That would show their wealth and that they did not need to walk around to make money. So many, many feet were broken, deformed, in order to fit that little, tiny, little sliver. Dangerous? Yes, of course. You can't walk, you can't exercise, your body becomes weaker, you die. You try to walk, you fall down the stairs, you die. Okay, I think that is self-explanatory. All right, let's move on to the next one. Number two. Today, it's so fun to just wear different colors. You can choose your favorite, you can go with the trends, but trends were super dangerous back then, especially with color. There are a few colors that were deadly, but particular a one, this one. It was this really nice deep bottle green color that was popular at the end of the 18th century that everybody just died for basically. You see, arsenic was actually the major ingredient in this. And when the fashionistas were wearing their beautiful, gorgeous gowns of that color, that color seeped through their skin and made them ill. And not only were the dresses made with that color, so many people used it on children's toys, on furniture, on even walls, you, like the super, super, super rich used it on their walls. And you can see how this might affect their well-being. If you're enjoying this content so far, please consider to like this video and subscribe to this channel if you aren't already. I make a bunch of fashion videos that are a little bit different to this. Number three. Crinoline. As I think about the days before and the dresses, I always think about those huge dresses that took up half of our room. How did they achieve that? Using crinoline. That's basically a cage that you wear on your waist that holds up the skirt. They were so popular, it was crazy. <laughs> so imagine that you're walking with a bunch of hula hoops on you difficult to go through doors, especially difficult to manage where your skirt is going. So lots of things have been knocked over and spilled. And let's think back to the time where there was no electricity and everything was lit by, you guessed it, candlelight. Quite a lot of poor souls died because their dress caught on fire because of a candle that they have dropped on their dress. And since it's so big and you can't really get out of it soon enough, some have suffocated because of the, all the smoke around them, some have burned. And let's just get into the next one. Number four. The corset. Of course, the corset didn't help escape the fire either, but let's just forget about that one. Okay. Corsets, of course. You get a tinier waist, but at what cost? Here are some of the side effects of those corsets. Inability to breathe, fainting because of it, and a broken ribs, and then puncture lungs because of those ribs, and some other organs. Uh, no thank you. Some fashionistas even went as far as removing the lower rib, that back in a day where they did not have a full anesthetic. Can you imagine doing it live? Moreover, Back then, if you took off your corset during your pregnancy, you would have been shunned. Yeah, so lots of babies, unfortunately, were miscarried or were born with some sort of defects because they didn't have the room to grow. <sighs> Those crazy fashionistas. 
I'm not talking about that. Number five. All right, so the next one over are the powdered wigs. Just around where a Louis the 11th or 12th was, you know, the king. Longer hair was kind of the sign of nobility and wealth, but guess what? He was balding, so he had to figure out some way to get out of it. So wigs came into place, and wigs were a really expensive items, so they were never kind of washed. And of course, if you don't wash anything like that, we have lots of lice situation and mice situation, and we know what mice bring, right? Yeah, we do. It's the plague. Yeah. Later, these wigs decided to be actual human hair. So many fashionistas would have a construction on their head of different sticks that hold the hair up. The hair, the hair would be then combed onto it and to secure it, they would use animal fat and flour to hold it all together. Can you imagine if you're sleeping what that might attract? Yeah, you guessed it, mice, yet again. Some ladies actually had to sleep sitting. Others even had a cage around their head to protect it from those nasty little rats. Number six, muslin dress. All right, you guys, so if you think that with time we become more, uh, I don't know, risque and show off our bodies too much, like the wet t-shirt contest, for instance, you have nothing to worry about. Around at the beginning of 19th century, this trend was super popular among the young ladies out there. What was it? They wore really thin, elegant white dresses, and just before they head out, they would wet them all over. So it kind of looked that they were nude, those dresses brought severe cases of pneumonia, pneumonia, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's that one over there, that in many cases caused death. Number seven. All right, you guys, the next one is probably in your wardrobe right now. And it's really long scarves. A dancer, Isadora Duncan, had actually died uh, in the 1927 in France due to this accidental suffocation and that brought it to light. So what happened, she went into her car, closed the door, her scarf, when the car started going, wrapped around the back wheel of the car, suffocating her inside. When I was researching, I have came upon a journal of health education, research and development, and they had a whole study about it, and they actually have a name for it. Long scarf syndrome. That is when a scarf was accidentally because of suffocation of a person. So you guys be careful wearing those really long scarves. Number eight. Prune or trail. In the 1870s, many diseases swept the European parts of the world, which most of the fashion capitals reside in. At that time, really long trails were super popular. And guess what? The fashionistas would walk around in the street where all these diseases are accumulated and carry that all up to their houses, sweeping the streets, as they would call it. Since the dresses weren't really cleaned that often, whenever it was time to clean it, a sudden outbreak would occur in the family. Nobody quite pinned that to the dresses, but now we know. Number nine, in the 1910, it was really popular for ladies to have their ankles tied, basically. So the skirt would make a form with very small opening at the bottom, so ladies had to walk with little, little tiny steps. In that way, ladies had a really difficult time to getting around and would fall over everywhere. That would be, that was probably really funny. Maybe a, a man made that fashion trend happen. And finally, number 10. 
All right, and the last but never the least, one of the most dangerous fashion trends of history were headdresses. Not only hats, but cylinders too. Back then, arsenic was used in so many different ways to make the like floral arrangement on a hat better or make a stuffed animal on a hat or just make the firmness of a hat or increase the longevity of a hat. Arsenic, head, sweat, head, death. Also mercury was used in there too, so that's even better. All right, you guys, here are kind of all of the fashion-related, death-defying fashion trends that I could find for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned something new today. I hope you have a great Halloween. Stay classy. Bye.